5 Facts for Every Pokemon Type And also, this video is sponsored by Honkai Star Rail, but we'll get into that in a bit. Let's do this! Normal Type In the original games, the Normal Type move Body Slam could not paralyze Normal Type Pokemon, since during that time, secondary effects on moves did not work on Pokemon that had the same typing, just like how the moves Flamethrower and Ember couldn't burn a Fire Type Pokemon. The Normal Type is the only type to have lost moves to other types, with the moves being Bite, Charm, Gust, Karate Chop, Moonlight, Sand Attack, and Sweet Kiss. All of these moves were originally Normal Type, yes, including Sand Attack. After nearly 20 whole years, the Normal Type symbol was changed in the Sinner remakes to look more like a Bidoof head. So I guess Bidoof is now the mascot of all Normal Type Pokemon. The Normal Type has the most unused type combinations, with the combinations being Normal Ice, Normal Steel, Normal Bug, and Normal Rock. I wonder what a Normal Bug type would look like. Would it just be like an ant? There are only two instances where a Normal Type move could do super effective damage outside of an inverse battle. The first instance is when a Pokemon with the normalized ability uses the move Flying Press and gets a Pokemon weak to the Flying Type. The normal Flying Type move will still be super effective. And then the second instance is when a Pokemon also with the normalized ability uses Freeze Dry on a Water Type Pokemon. The turn Normal Type move will still be super effective. So I guess Normal Type is super effective against Water Type confirmed. Fire Type There is only one move in the entirety of Pokemon that can burn a Fire Type, and it only works in one generation, and that move is Tri-Attack in Generation 2. Since it's not a Fire Type and has a chance of burning, a Fire Type Pokemon can literally be burned by it, which is hilarious. The Elite for member Flint, who specialized in Fire Type Pokemon, only has two Fire Types on his team. And this was because in Diamond and Pearl, only two Fire Type Pokemon were available before the post game, and those Pokemon were the Chimchar line and the Ponytail line, which is just an epic fail. The best way to troll an opponent with a fire type is by using the Pokemon Vivlion. Yes, a Vivlion. And this is because Vivlion has a signature move Powder, which is a priority move that causes fire type Pokemon to hurt themselves when using the fire type moves. The fire type can deal the highest damage multiplier out of all the types. And all you have to do is face a Pokemon that is quad weak to fire with the ability Fluffy that is under the effects of Tar Shot and Forest Curse, and then use a stab fire type move under the effects of Blaze in a sunny day. With that, it should be a staggering 72 times multiplier, which is pretty insane. Coincidentally, the fire type can also have the lowest multiplier. This time, all you have to do is face a Pokemon that is quad resistant to fire with the ability Thick Fat, and then have a fire type Pokemon under the effects of Water Sport and in the rain use a fire type move. With that, the move should do 148 of the normal damage, which is nuts. And before we move on to the next type, this video is sponsored by Honkai Star Rail. Yeah, Beady Dobbs here, and Honkai Star Rail is an awesome space fantasy RPG game with a mature art style and amazing characterization. Like, look at my character here. Her name is Zila. She's doing an idle animation right now, and she is playing with this glowing butterfly. Oh, now she's doing this epic attack against this robot hand looking spider thing. She is so freaking awesome. Boom! That did look pretty cool. You're pretty cool. Yo, thanks, Beady Dobbs. High five. Okay, I think I just knocked him out. Anyways, here's the top 5 things you should know about Honkai Star Rail. Number 1. This game is available on both PC and mobile, and you can easily swap between them at any time. Number 2. This game is an immersive experience with amazing music, cutscenes, animations, and more. Number 3. This game is turn-based, which is awesome. Number 4. Zila's hot. Yeah. And, and number 5. Honkai Star Rail is out right now, so download on your phones or on PC or on both and play on both. Use the link down below in the description or in the pinned comment. Yeah. Ho Honkai Star Rail is going to be one of the best RPGs of 2023, so check it out. For sure. Now back to the video. Water Type In the Heart Gold and Soul Silver expansion of the trading card game, the Water Energy card featured a Lugia in the background. But as we all know, Lugia isn't a Water Type, even though it should be. The move Brian was the only water type move that was classified as a smart move in Pokemon contests, but in the Hoenn remakes, it was changed to be a tough move. So I guess Game Freak is trying to tell us that water type Pokemon aren't very smart. The water type Pokemon Psyduck has appeared in every main series Pokemon game, with the only other Pokemon to do this being the Magnemite line. In the Indonesian and Malaysian versions of Pokemon, the water type is known as the air type, which probably gets really confusing for the players. Like how is this fish an air type? It doesn't interact with or breathe air. Or does it? It, it is floating. There are so many water type gym leaders in the Pokemon world that if you put them all in one region, you can literally have a Pokemon League of only water type gyms. Electric type. For some odd reason, the Cramel Manic classifies the Petchberry as an electric type item, which doesn't make that much sense since the Petchberry is used to cure poison. The reason why the electric type Pokemon Ampharos becomes a dragon type when it mega evolves is because originally it was meant to be an electric dragon type Pokemon. So if you ever wonder why mega Ampharos becomes a dragon type, that's why. 
In the original games, every Alicia type move started with the word Thunder, with the moves being Thunder Shock, Thunder Bolt, Thunder, Thunder Punch, and Thunder Wave. And cool enough, Electabuzz was the only Alicia type Pokemon that could learn all of them. So I guess Electabuzz was the ultimate Alicia type Pokemon back in the day. Stunfisk, for some reason, can have the ability Limber, which prevents the Pokemon from being paralyzed. But since Stunfisk is an electric type Pokemon itself, it already isn't able to get paralyzed, making this ability extremely useless. In the anime, Brock gives a canonical explanation to why the grass type resists electric, and I'll just let him explain it to you himself. Pokemon that are strong against electric attacks are usually so because they diffuse it into trees or the ground, but they're not able to do that in midair. There's more that decides a battle than the disadvantages. Which I, I guess kind of makes sense. But what about Carnivine? It's literally floating. Grass type. In the French, German, Indonesian, Portuguese, Spanish, and Turkish versions of Pokemon, the grass type is known as the plant type, which honestly makes a lot more sense when thinking about it. And to be honest, I feel like Shaman is literally the only grass type Pokemon that has grass on it somewhere. Unless the monkey has grass down there. Speaking of which, for the past 25 years, the grass type has been represented by a leaf symbol. So it makes even more sense that it should be the plant type. But finally, in the center remakes, Game Freak changed the icon to actual grass. The reason why Execute is a grass type is because the supposed eggs are actually plant seeds. And this was confirmed in this Fire Red Pokedex entry. Every Pokemon in the grass egg group is a grass type Pokemon. All of them except for one, which is Comfy. The grass type is the only type to have more than one move that can drain HP, with the five of them being Absorb, Mega Drain, Giga Drain, Horn Leech, and Leech Seed. The other types that have draining moves just have one, with the moves being Bitter Blade for Fire, Bouncy Bubble for Water, Leech Life for Bug, Drain Punch for Fighting, Draining Kiss for Fairy, Oblivion Wing for Flying, Dream Eater for Psychic, and Parabolic Charge for Electric. I feel like the bug type should have a lot more. Ice type. Despite the ice type being the ice type, only one of his moves is considered to be cool in Pokemon contests, with the move being Ice Fang. Even though the ice type has the least amount of Pokemon, it surprisingly has the most specialists when it comes to major characters, with the characters being Lorelei, Price, Glacia, Candice, Bryson, Zinzolan, Wolfric, Sina, Melanie, Garrick, and Gresha. My favorite one's Lorelei, for no particular reason. The ice type move Ice Ball can deal the most damage in Pokemon, period, with the output being 721 million damage. And if you want to know how, check out my Shuckle video where I explain how to do it. The first ice type Pokemon to ever evolve is Snorunt from the Hoenn games, which is pretty mind blowing when you think about it. Ice type Pokemon have been buffed quite a bit in the last few years. For example, in Sun and Moon, the move Sheer Cold was changed to have no effect on ice type Pokemon, and was given a 30% accuracy boost for ice type Pokemon only. And in Scarlet and Violet, ice type Pokemon were buffed with a new Snow Weather, giving ice types a 50% defense boost. Fighting type. The new fighting type move Axe Kick is the first move with crash damage since Generation 1, and the other two moves that have crash damage are High Jump Kick and Jump Kick. In the Unova games, there's a special rock called the Challenge Rock, and every day, if you have a fighting type Pokemon on your team, it can smash it and break a star piece off of it. In Pokestar Studios, a black bell states that trainers actually become the type that they specialize in. So either there's only tree in Pokestar Studios, or every specialist in Pokemon have their own typing. I guess I'd be a water type. The Kale's fighting type gym leader, Karina, probably has the most well thought out name in the franchise, since her name is a combination of the words KO for knockout and arena. The fighting type is the only type to have no multi-target moves, and this is probably because fighting type Pokemon are focused on their single target. Poison type. The poison type surprisingly had the most Pokemon in the original games, with a population of 33, while the water type had one less at 32. Nowadays though, the water type completely overshadows the poison type with 176 different Pokemon, while poison has a mere 93. In the 90s Pokemon song To Be A Master, the singer lists all the typings except for the poison type, and instead states a non-existent type called the flame type, even though the fire type was mission. Just listen. But first you gotta know about the different types, grass, fire, ground, flame, electric, water, rock, flying, ice, normal, bug, ghost, fighting, and dragon. Don't forget about psychic to be a master, Pokemon master. I, I love this song. According to the Cramomanic, the Repel item is Poison type, which actually makes a lot of sense because every time you use one, lower level Pokemon stay away from you because they don't want to get poisoned by you. When the move Tossic is used by a Poison type Pokemon, the move never misses, even if the opponent is using a move like Fly or Dig. The Poison type has been all over the place in the TCG, because in the first few generations, the Poison type was categorized under the Grass type, then it was moved to the Psychic type in Generation 4, then again it was moved to the Darkness type in Generation 8. Pokemon just can't seem to make up their minds. Ground type. In one of the Galar hotels, a man says his Pokemon is in the bathroom taking a shower, and then says it's a ground type. So basically that Pokemon is setting itself on fire with water. The Johto games has either a gym leader or an Elite Four member who specializes in every type. All except for the ground type, since unfortunately Giovanni isn't present in those games. 
The Kramel Manic categorized the Chip Pot and the Cracked Pot as ground type items. So, by that logic, Poltergeist should be a ghost ground type Pokemon, not just a ghost type. The most well known ground type move, Earthquake, as it appeared in the anime since Ruby and Sapphire, which is probably due to the real life earthquakes that happen in Japan. And for the same reason, we haven't seen the moves Fissure and Mattitude in the anime either. Another fact about Earthquake is that the Pokemon Aerodactyl couldn't learn it until Generation 2. But if you transfer it back to Generation 1 with it knowing Earthquake, it will do a really weird animation in Pokemon Stadium when using the move. It's like spinning. Flying type. In the Johto games, there are no teams that utilize the flying type. Not even the flying type gym leader, Faulkner. He, for some reason, gives the player the team for Mud Slap, of all things, which is honestly the complete opposite of what you'd expect. Originally, the flying type was known as the bird type, and in the original games, you can actually encounter a missing node that still has the scrap typing. Before Generation 5, if a pure flying type Pokemon used the move Roost, it would become the question mark type, which I'm going to assume is the scrap bird type. And the only Pokemon that could possibly do this is Arceus holding a Sky Plate, if he acted the move Roost on it. In the anime, Ash has caught more different flying type Pokemon than any other type, with the amount being 12. And I said different because Ash has canonically caught 30 Tauros, so if you were to count those Pokemon, he would have more normal types. There are currently only three pure flying type Pokemon, with the Pokemon being Tornadus, Rookidy, and Corvusquire. And back in the day, fans used to say that Tornadus was the only pure flying type Pokemon because it was the embodiment of air. But that theory has been since thrown out the window, unless these two Derby Bird Pokemon are also gods of air. Psychic Type Purple, Magenta, and Pink would not be the best colors to represent the Psychic Type. It would actually be the Gold color, and here's why. For example, Sabrina's badge in Japanese is called the Gold Badge. The Drowsy, Abra, and Psychic lines all reference the Psychic Type through their Gold color. And in the Mystery Dungeon game, the Psychic Type Pokemon like the Gold Gummies the most. So, if you ever thought it was weird that Golduck is called Golduck and not Psyduck, well, it's because the Gold color represents the Psychic Type in Japanese. In the anime, Sabrina states that only people with Psychic Powers can control Psychic Type Pokemon. So either she's lying, or every trainer in Pokemon who has a Psychic Type is a Psychic themselves, including yourself. The Psychic Type move Psy Wave was responsible for two glitches in Generation 1, with one of them being a Softlock. And all you had to do is have a level 0, 1, or 171 Pokemon use the move. And boom, your game becomes frozen. The Cramel Manic classifies the Rare Candy and the XP Candy as Psychic Type items, which basically means that Pokemon who eat the candy use Psychic Energy to level up which is pretty cool. The Psychic type in Generation 1 is probably the strongest type in the entirety of Pokemon, because it only resisted itself, the types that were super effective against it had weak moves, and most importantly, the special defense stat was based on the Pokemon's special stat. So all Psychic type Pokemon were powerful and bulky, not to mention that a glitch in the game's coding caused ghost types to not be super effective against it. So all around, Psychic type Pokemon were just on another level. Bug type. As of now, there are no regional bug type forms yet, which is pretty surprising because I feel like bug types adapt more than any other Pokemon. The mysterious Enigma Berry that was originally not attainable in Generation 3 is apparently a bug type item, and this is the only berry with this typing. So I'm going to assume that this berry is infested with bugs. In the Mandarin Chinese versions of Pokemon, the bug type is sometimes referred to as the reptile type, which probably again becomes really confusing for the Chinese players. The top 10 11 Pokemon that evolve at the lowest possible levels are all bug type, with the Pokemon being Caterpie, Weedle, Wurmple, Scatterbug, Metapod, Kakuna, Silcoon, Cascoon, Cricutot, Blipbug, and Spoopa. Mmm, wee wee, Spoopa. Mega Horn is the only bug type move that has a base power of 100 or more, when excluding Z moves and Max moves. Rock type. The rock type Pokemon Archop surprisingly has the highest base stat total of any non legendary, pseudo legendary, mega, or paradox Pokemon, with a base stat total of 567. If a Pokemon had every type in the game, it would be only weak to the rock type. And if you're wondering, this Pokemon would be immune to 8 types, resist 4 types, and have neutral damage with 5 types. More than half of rock type moves have less than 100% accuracy, so I guess this means all rock type Pokemon have awful eyesight. The Johto Steel type gym leader, Jasmine, was confirmed to have previously been a rock type specialist. And it wouldn't surprise me her honors evolving into a Steelix is what motivated her to change. Rock type Pokemon have the best coverage for grass type Pokemon, since rock types are super effective to 4 out of 5 weaknesses that the grass types have. So, in a double battle, these two would make a dynamic duo. Ghost type Haunter might be the ultimate ghost type Pokemon, since its Japanese name is literally Ghost. Ghost type Pokemon can actually die, since in the anime, Ace Roll's shiny Mimikyu is a ghost of itself, making it literally a ghost of a ghost of a ghost, if Mimikyu is indeed the ghost of a deceased Pichu. The move Poltergeist is the only ghost type move that has less than 100% accuracy, so I guess when it comes to eyesight, ghost types are the complete opposite of rock types. All of Rotom's forms were previously ghost type before it was replaced with a new type, which makes Rotom the only Pokemon to have his typing change outside of a new type being introduced. In Generation 4, ghost type Pokemon were given a unique trait that allows them to escape any battle, even when fleet preventing moves or abilities are activated, like Mean Look or Arena Trap. 
Dragon type. The dragon type move, Draco Meter, is thought to be the ultimate dragon move. Since before Generation 9, the move was exclusively taught by move tutors who could only teach the move if the Pokemon had max friendship. Sinnoh is the only region to not have any dragon type specialists, so I guess all of the dragon trainers were scared away by Cynthia's Garchomp. In Pokemon Masters, Lance states that not all dragon type Pokemon are dragon type. I, I don't really understand how this works, but I guess it makes sense since there are non dragon type Pokemon in the dragon egg group. The Johto Dragon type gym leader Claire is probably the most self aware Pokemon character in the games, because if you try to present her a hacked in Dragon Fang, she will literally call you a cheater, which is pretty funny. The only Dragon type move in Generation 1 was Dragon Rage, which always has a base 40 damage. So basically, it was impossible to do a stab Dragon type move in those games, and super effectiveness didn't really matter. Dark type. In Gold and Silver, it was only possible to encounter a Dark type Pokemon at night. And on top of that, every encounterable Dark type Pokemon was only encounterable in the Kanto region, making this type extremely rare. There are three moves in the entirety of Pokemon that will fail unless it's used by a certain species of Pokemon, with the moves being Auroville, Hyperspace Fury, and Dark Void. And coincidentally, all three of these moves are Dark type, so I guess it takes a really evil Pokemon to use them. Looking at you, Marpeko. I know you're evil inside. I know it. In Pokemon Ranger, this is what the Dark type symbol looks like, and from the looks of it, it looks like a Devil's Pitchfork, which might be a reference to the Dark type being the evil type in Japanese. The Cramomanic lists a dubious disc as a Dark type item, despite the fact that it evolves a normal type Pokemon. And this is probably because the antagonist Team Galactic created this item, and that it essentially quote unquote corrupts Porygon 2. Because if you look closely at Porygon Z, it's literally just Porygon 2, but with his limbs rearranged. Before the fairy type was introduced, the dark and ghost types worked so well together that the Pokemon had no weakness. And in Pokestar Studios, there's actually a fake Mon that had this typing with the Wonder Guard ability, essentially making it invincible. Steel type. Before the release of Sword and Shield, there was a contest held in Japan to come up with the best name for the strongest steel type move that would be introduced in the new games. And the winning name translates to All Out Resistance, or Steel Beam in English. In the Mystery Dungeon games, there's a location known as Mount Steel. But despite the name, the remakes classifies this location main Pokemon type as Psychic, which doesn't make that much sense. Chairman Rose's beard looks just like the Trending Card Game's Metal type symbol, but upside down. Do you see it? In the Generation 2 games, there are four glitch types, with the types being the letter B, the name Glitch, Abnormal, and apostrophe I, parentheses M, parentheses ZM. And that last type of the bunch was essentially a duplicate of the Steel type. Until the fairy type was introduced, the steel type had either an advantage or disadvantage against every other type. There was no middle ground with neutral damage. Then after X and Y was released, the ghost and dark type became neutral to steel. And lastly, we have the fairy type. The most powerful fairy type move is an unreleased move called Light of Ruin, with a base power of 140. And the reason why it's unreleased is because the event Pokemon Eternal Flower Follette was never distributed, and thus its signature move was never released either. The fairy type is the only type that Ash hasn't caught in the anime. And no, I wouldn't count Mimey because at the time of Ash catching it, it was only a psychic type. Magical Torque is the only fairy type move that was introduced in Scarlet and Violet, but the move is unlearnable with every Pokemon except for Ruckbuzz Starmobile, which is literally just a machine. Even though the fairy type didn't exist in the original games, Mina, a fairy type specialist, appears in the Let's Go games, which is more evidence that these games are from a different timeline, most likely in the Mega Evolution timeline. And finally, for the last fact, the fairy type was discontinued in the trading card game, without being categorized under the psychic type. And because of that, the fairy type energy was rotated out, making it the only basic energy card to do so. And there you go, 5 facts for every Pokemon type. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, if you liked this video, check out my one fact for every town in Pokemon. Yes, I did every town in the entirety of Pokemon. Just click on the end card right here. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.